Namaste, I'm David Alton and welcome to my general Hatha Yoga session. On my right I have Maria, who will be demonstrating variations and modifications for people who are new to yoga. And on my left I have Olivia. Now the health benefits of yoga are numerous. It can help reduce stress and tension in your body, lengthen, strengthen, tone and energize your body, help to clear the mind, and bring a sense, an overall sense of well-being to your whole physical being. We're going to begin the session today with a brief centering. So if you'd like to come into a comfortable cross-legged seated position, you may like to experiment with a block here, as I'm doing here, sitting on the edge of a block. Or if you haven't got a block, use a folded blanket or a cushion. What's important to think about is keeping the spine straight and the shoulders relaxed the crown of the head lengthen up towards the ceiling and the tailbone rooting downwards towards the earth. We're going to place our hands into our chin mudra, also known as the seal of wisdom. So we're going to take the tip of the index finger and place it into the pad of the thumb to form the universal circle. The thumb represents the higher self and the index finger represents the individual self. We're going to allow our eyes to softly close and begin to Take our focus within. Essential to all the practices of yoga is the breathing. Inhale and exhale through the nose, taking some slow and deep breaths. And as you inhale, visualize that you're drawing in energy deep into the solar plexus. And as you exhale, Visualize that you're breathing away tensions, tightness from the physical body. Yoga allows us the opportunity to slow down and connect with the inner sensations within the body. Connecting the mind, the body and the breath. Now with your next exhalation, I'd like you to bring your palms together in a prayer position, a pranamasana, placing them at the center of your sternum. And we're going to set our sankalpa or intention for our practice today. So allow your chin just to gently bow forward towards your chest. And we're going to release any limiting ideas and instead invite the positive energy of healing and change into our practice and into our lives. And reminding ourselves, although the asanas, the postures, are designed to strengthen and make the body more flexible, the true purpose and spirit of yoga is to open the heart center and to help speed up our spiritual evolutions. We'll take our thumbs to our third eye as we inhale. The point between the eyebrows, also known as the psychic energy center, and exhale, take your hands to your heart. Let's release the hands, uncross the legs and give the legs a nice little shake. Releasing your block, if you were sitting on a block, take your hands over to the right, bring your legs to the left and we'll begin our warm-up sequence in preparation for the postures and sequences to follow. So I'm going to take you into a cat stretch to begin with. So hands will be shoulder width apart with the wrists directly below the shoulders. And the knees are hip distance apart with the knees directly below the hips, belly pulling in. Now the cat and the dog tilt sequence helps to limber up the spine, making it more flexible. So let's take a breath in here, through the nose, and as we exhale, we're going to drop the tailbone and curve through the back, pulling the belly in, rounding the spine, chin to the chest. Again, repeating. We're going to inhale, release the tailbone this time and extend the chest forward, pulling the belly in and taking the ears away from the shoulders. A few more times, exhaling. We're going to drop the tailbone, curve through the back, rounding the spine into our cat stretch. And inhaling, extending the heart forward, tilting the tailbone, keeping the belly in. Always linking the breath with the movement. Let's do one more. Exhaling, dropping down with the tailbone, Curving through the back, drawing the belly in, chin to chest, and inhaling, 
releasing the tailbone, extending through. From here, we're gonna move into a downward facing dog position. So if you're new to yoga, follow Maria, she shows you a modification. Take your hands forward, shoulder width apart, keeping the hands nice and spread, pulling the navel into the spine. We're gonna inhale, shift the weight forward. Keep your legs hip distance, pull your belly in. Now as you exhale, you're gonna flip your toes underneath and lift your hips and your sit bones up to the sky, forming the high inverted V position. Now in this position, we wanna check that the toes are in line with the heels. The hands are wide and spread with the four fingers facing forward. Tailbone tilting up to the ceiling, chin to the chest, and the top of the head releasing down to the mat. This is a wonderful posture for really opening up through the body, opening up through the hamstrings, lengthening through the spine. The focal point in this position is the point between your feet. Focal points in yoga are known as drishtis. Okay, from your downward dog, let's take a lift up here. Rise up to the balls of your feet. You can step your feet a little further back here. We're going to move into our plank position, which is quite a strong position. So have a look, first of all, drawing the belly in. We line up the shoulders with the wrists here. Grip the tailbone and lengthen through the crown of the head, out in towards your heels. Follow me here for a variation here if you're new, if you haven't quite got the strength in your arms at the moment. These are all preparatory movements for the sun salutations, which are going to follow next. Take a breath in and exhale, swing the hips back up to the sky. And let's do that a couple more times just to warm the shoulders. So inhale, keeping the belly in, drawing the body weight forward, shoulders above the wrists, push into the heels, grip your tailbone, exhale and swing the hips to the sky. One more time, inhaling, bringing the body weight forward, stomach into the spine, good. Now from here, we're gonna exhale, move into our next move, which is known as Ashtanga Panam. So we drop the knees to the mat, okay? From here, we bend the elbows, we take the chest between the hands and the chin forward, keeping the elbows skimming towards the rib cage, tailbone lifted. Okay, so the chin's on the floor, the hands on the floor, the chest, knees and toes, and the seat remains lifted. From here, we're gonna slide the legs away and roll the shoulders down the back, pointing the toes to the back of the room in preparation for our next movement, which is the cobra position. So as we inhale, we're going to lengthen through the crown of the head, raise the forehead, nose, chin and chest. This is a wonderful opening for your heart centre. Careful that you don't hunch your shoulders up by your ears as you do this position, but roll them down. And feel the union of opposites in action here. So the union of opposites, referring to the crown of the head and the toes pointing backwards. Exhaling, we're going to release the head, flip the toes, and swing the hips up, that's quite a strong movement, into the downward facing dog. Hips up and the heels lengthening down. Okay, keeping the gaze towards your feet. Now from here, we're gonna move into our lunge position to help open up through the hips. So take a breath in, lift your heels up nice and high, bend your knees, and I'm gonna show you a little tip here, because it's quite a big step. You're gonna release your fingers, down into the mat, lifting the heels of the hands and keeping the belly in, and then swing right foot forward on the inside of your right hand. Now check that your right knee is above your ankle here, that you're pulling up through the left quadricep muscle, and you're extending the chest away from the lower back, forming a long line of energy from the crown of the head into the back heel. Good. Exhaling, step the right leg back, and bend deeply into your knees. Keep your hips up here, look at the hands, Lift the heels of the hands and swing the left foot forward on the inside of the left hand. Left knee now lines up with the ankle and the back heel pushes away. Keep your chest engaged, forward, lengthen through the collarbones and feel your hips opening up here and feel the stretch through the right hip flexor. Good, now from here, we're gonna move into a forward fold position to help and release the lower back and the hamstrings. So we're gonna bend both knees and lift up as we step the right foot forward. Let your feet be hip distance apart here. Toes in line with the heels and just fold your arms and place them around your opposing biceps. Hang in forward here, drawing the navel into the spine. If you're very tight in the hamstrings, keep a softness through your knees. Draw your belly in and breathe. Let the breath do the work for you here, helping to open up the hamstrings and lower back. Let's release the hands, interlace them behind the back, roll the shoulders away as we inhale. Keep your knees soft, 
And as you exhale, stretch the arms away from your back for clasped forward fold. This is a wonderful position for opening up across the chest and the shoulders. Remind yourself to keep your knees soft if you're feeling very tight in the hamstrings. Good, now from here, we're gonna bend the knees, release the hands down to the mat, drop the chin to the chest, drop your tailbone. And as you inhale, you're gonna push down with your feet and begin to roll up through your back, vertebra by vertebra, very smoothly. Stacking one piece on top of the other. And the head will be the last thing to come up. Then I'm gonna inhale, roll the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, drop them down. And take a big sweep up with your arms, sideways and up. Tailbone lengthening under, barely pulling in. Stretching up, lifting your gaze. And as you exhale, bending through the elbows, bringing the palms together in prayer position at your heart. Good, well done. We're gonna to go to a break now. So have a drink of water, and when we come back, I'll be showing you all those moves together for the sun salutation sequence. Namaste and welcome back. We're now going to combine all the movements which we learned in the warm-up into a sequence known as the Sun Salutation or Surya Namaskar. 12 sequences, 12 postures that link together with the breath to help tone up your body internally as well as externally and get you feeling nice and strong, open and ready for the asanas to follow. We always need to remember that we need to synchronize the breath with the movement. So let's begin. Come to the top of your mats in the mountain position, feet together, heels can be slightly separated here. Feel the weight of your body sinking down in towards the feet. Tailbone slightly tucks under and the belly pulls in. Shoulders relaxed, crown of the head floating up to the sky. As we exhale, we're gonna bring the palms together in a prayer position at our heart center, Pranamasana, reminding ourselves of the devotional nature of the sun salutations. With an inhalation, we're gonna circle the arms sideways and up, wide in the back, push into the heels, look up to your thumbs. With an exhalation, push the hips back and folding deep into your legs. Now, if you're very tight in the hamstrings, remember to relax the knees slightly. As you inhale, step the right leg back into lunge. You can drop the back knee down to the mat as Maria is demonstrating, or keep the leg nice and lengthened, pulling your belly in and pushing into the back heel, feeling the stretch through the quadricep and hip flexor. With an exhalation, we're going to step the left leg back into a high V position, our downward facing dog. Chin to the chest, heels breathing down. Hands wide and spread like starfishes. Inhaling, bring your weight forward into your high push-up, your Dandasana. Shoulders above your wrists, gripping your tailbone, pushing into the heels. Remember your modification, you can relax your knees down to the mat. Exhaling, drop your knees to the mat now, everyone. Chest and chin. So the chest goes between the hands, the chin moves forward, elbows into the rib cage, and keeping your seat nice and high. Reminding yourself of your variation is to relax the whole body down to the mat. Rolling your shoulders back, inhaling. Let's lengthen away with the toes as we open up through the heart. Now be careful you're not straining here. Keep the elbows in, the shoulders relaxed. Gentle lift and keep the lower rib connected to the mat here. Exhale, lower the head, flip the toes under. Push to the fours, and then swing the hips up to the sky, back to downward facing dog. Chin to the chest, heels down. Take a breath in, lift your heels up nice and high. Bend the knees, look at the hands, and then swing right foot forward. Give yourself a helping hand as much as you need to, to bring that foot forward. And as you exhale, left foot to the right, and fall deeply into the legs, forehead in towards the shins. That, feel that nice release for your lower back and hamstrings. Inhale, bending the knees, curling up through your back, circling the arms sideways and up, draw your palms to meet above the head, and exhale, bring your hands to prayer position at your heart. We're gonna begin now to flow into the second round. Inhaling, taking the arms sideways and up, palms touch, look into your thumbs. Exhale, push the hips back, and folding deep into your legs. Remember, relax the knees as much as you can. If you need to, bend the knees deeply now and swing the left leg back into your lunge, lifting through your chest, power the back leg. Exhaling, right foot steps back into your high V, your downward dog, chin to the chest. 
and then inhale back into your high push up one long line of energy belly in exhale drop your knees chest chin to the mat elbows in releasing rolling your shoulders back lengthening into your cobra elbows in and exhaling gently releasing and pushing the hips up to the sky downward facing dog Bending the knees, look at the hands and swing left foot forward, the inside of your left hand, extending through with the heart. And as you exhale, right foot comes forward and you fall deep into your legs. Inhale, bend the knees, roll up, palms touch, look up to your thumbs. And exhale, bring the hands into prayer position. And let's go again. Breath in, inhale, take the arms up, palms touch, look to your thumbs. Exhale, folding forward, forehead into the shins. Bending the knees, right leg steps back into the lunge. Lift your chest, power the back leg. Exhaling, left foot into your downward dog. Hips up and the heels down. Inhale into your high push-up, one long line. Exhale, lower your knees, chest, chin, elbows in. Keep the seat lifted. Release your thighs, roll the shoulders back. Inhale into your cobra, elbows into the ribs. Exhale, lower the head, flip the toes and push the hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. Bending the knees, look at the hands. Inhale, right foot comes forward, lift the chest, power the back leg. Exhale, left foot comes forward and you fall deep into your legs. Inhale, bend the knees, roll up, palms touch, look up to your thumbs. Exhale, hands in prayer position at the heart. You should already start to begin feeling quite warm now and limber. We're going to begin to build now and increase the tempo of the sun salutations to build up a little bit more heat. So, bringing the hands into prayer position as we exhale. Inhale, palms touch, look up. Exhale, folding deep, forehead in. Bend the knees, inhale, right leg into the lunge, lifting up. Exhale, left foot into downward facing dog. Inhale into plank position, stomach in. Remember your modifications. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, elbows in. Inhale into your cobra, point your toes. Elbows in, drop the shoulders. Exhale, downward facing dog, pushing the floor away from you. Bending the knees, look at the hands. Inhale, right foot forward. Lifting your heart, pushing into the back leg. Exhale, left foot forward and folding deep into your legs. Inhale, bend the knees, roll up your back. Palms touch, looking up. Exhale, hands return back to prayer position. Second side. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, push your hips back as you fold deep in, dropping the head. Bending the knees, left foot steps back into the lunge, lengthening. Exhale, right foot down with dog, heels down to the earth, chin to the chest. Inhale, high push up, core engaged. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra, elbows in. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Bending the knees, look at the hands. Inhale, left foot all the way forward. Exhaling, right foot to the left and folding deep. Inhale, rolling up through your back. Palms touch, look up to your thumbs. Exhale, bring your hands in prayer position at your heart. If you feel that you need to take a little break and have a little rest, come down into the corpse position. Maria, just show us the corpse position here. This is your resting position, just relaxing here, rolling down. Palms facing the sky, feet turning slightly out. If you'd like to continue with the sun salutation sequence, we're going to show you another round, moving slightly quicker. Maria, feel free to stay in the corpse position or join us. Maria's feeling strong today, so she's going to join us. <laughs> Bringing the hands in prayer position, exhaling. Here we go, inhale, circling up, palms touch, look up to your thumbs. Exhale, folding deep, forehead into the shins. Bending the knees, right leg steps back, big lunge. Lift your chest, power the back leg. 
Exhaling, left foot into your high V position. Inhale, let's come into plank, stomach in, shoulders down. Exhaling, knees, chest, chin to the floor. Keep the seat nice and high. Releasing, rolling the shoulders back. Opening up through the heart. Exhaling and swing in. Hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. Bending through the knees, look at the hands. Give yourself a helping hand as the right foot comes forward. Open the heart, power the back leg. Exhale, left foot forward and folding deep into your legs. Inhale, roll up the back, push the floor away. Palms meet, look up to your thumbs. Exhaling, hands in prayer position. You're almost there team, let's do the other side. Inhale, opening up, feel the energy now swirling through your body. Exhale, folding deep, Uttanasana, forward fold. Bending the knees, swing the left leg back. Lunge, Ashwasan, Shalanasana. Exhale, right foot, Adha Mukhashvanasana, the downward dog, high V. Inhale, coming through into your high push up, Dandasana, belly in. Exhale, drop your knees, chest, chin to the earth, elbows in. Inhale, sliding the legs, opening the heart, dropping the shoulders. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. Let's hold this downward facing dog for a moment. Let's just go over some fine pointers here. Really pushing down with the palms of your hands. Pushing the fronts of your thighs to the hamstrings. And really think about lifting up through the tops of your knees. Pushing your shins to your calves and the backs of the calves down towards the heels. Gazing towards the feet, tilting the tailbone up, pulling your belly in, feeling as much length and release through the spine. Breathe, nice and deep. Good. Let's take a breath and lift the heels up. Bend your knees, look at your hands and swing. Left foot forward, give yourself a helping hand, open the heart. And as you exhale, bring your right leg forward and folding deep into your legs. Bend the knees, rolling up through your back. Bring your palms together above your head. And exhale, bring your hands back into prayer position at your heart. Now close your eyes and let your arms release alongside you. Feeling the energy swirling through your body. Feeling the heat now. You should be sweating now. Nice and energizing Surya Namaskar practice. We're going to take a break now, just to towel off a bit <laughs> and drink some water. And when we come back, we'll be doing some standing postures. So, we'll see you then. Namaste and welcome back. We're now going to be working on the standing postures which help to open the hips, tone and shape the legs, and bring the body into balance. We'll begin with the triangle position, Uta Itha Chukhanasana. So to do the triangle, bend your knees and step your legs about three feet. Place the hands on the hips, and make sure that the left foot is facing forward. As you inhale, lift your right heel, and rotate your right leg 90 degrees out and check that the right heel is in line with the instep of the left foot. Keeping your hips and shoulders nice and square and your belly pulling in. We're going to take a breath in here, taking the arms out to the side, dropping the shoulders. Now, As we exhale, we're going to cut the hips over towards the left side, isolating the movement over to the right and taking the hand anywhere below the shin and lengthening the left arm up. What's important to think about in this position is that the body is not going forward or going back, but you're going directly to the side. And a good analogy to use here is that you're moving between two panes of glass. We take three deep breaths here, energizing the feet, lifting up through the thighs, tuck in that right buttock forward and the left hip back. To assimilate this position, we can take the arm underneath the rib cage, take a breath in, and exhale, rolling the ribs open and up to the sky. And breathe. Good. 
and to come out of the position, relax that right knee and inhale, bring your body all the way up to the centre. Let's practice on the other side. So let's turn the right foot forward, lift the left heel, rotate the left leg out 90 degrees and line up the left heel with the instep of the right foot. Make sure that your hips and shoulders are square. Take a big breath in and as you exhale, cut your hips to the right. As you extend over to the left, place in the left hand anywhere below the shin and taking the arm up to the sky. Take your gaze up towards your thumb here. If you have any neck issues, look down towards the floor. Keep moving forward with your left buttock and rolling the right hip chest open to the sky. Once again, to assimilate the posture, you can take your hand underneath the rib cage and just roll it open to the sky and extending up. Good, that should already be three breaths on the breath. Big breath into the hips. Exhaling, release. Good. And to come out of the asana, bend your knee and inhale, come up to the center. Taking your hands onto your hips now, we're going to widen our legs for the warrior posture two position. So we're going about four to four and a half feet apart here. We're going to lift the right heel, rotate from the top of the leg, the right leg 90 degrees out. Make sure it is the top of the leg and not the knee. Turning your left foot forward to that 12 o'clock angle, lining up in step and arch of the feet. Lifting up through your core, relaxing your shoulders. We can take a deep breath in, and as we exhale, we begin to descend deeply in towards that left thigh. Now, some things to think about here is that the knee is directly above the ankle, the shin, and the thigh perpendicular to the floor, and that the knee is opening towards the little pinky toe side of your right foot. Keep pulling back with your left hip here, and tuck your buttock slightly underneath. Push down with the outer heel as you float the arms to the side, and take your gaze along the middle finger of your right hand, relaxing the shoulders here, finding your warrior strength. Feel the knees lengthen away from one another and feel the power through this back leg. Breathe. That should already be two breaths. Take one more, lifting up slightly. Exhale, sinking a little deeper. Good, inhale, coming up to the center. Place the hands on the hips and turning the right foot forward. Lift your left heel and rotate your left leg out from the top of the leg. Line up the heel with the instep of the back foot. Keep your belly lifted, shoulders relaxed. Exhaling, descending deep into that left thigh. Opening the knee, so it goes towards the little pinky toe side. Knee above the ankle. Pulling back with this left hip. Tucking the tailbone slightly under. Taking the arms out to the side. Shoulders relaxed, and look along the middle finger of your left arm. Suck the muscles of your arms in towards the bones of your arms here. Find that warrior strength. Feel the energy emanating from the heart center. Breathe. That should already be two breaths. Take one more breath to lift up slightly. And then exhale, sink a little deeper. Good. Inhaling, straightening your left thigh. Turning now your toes forward, lifting your right heel in preparation for Uta Itha Pashvokanasana, extended right angle. Another lateral side flexion. Take a breath in for me. And as you exhale, descending deep into your right thigh, knee above the ankle once again, pulling back with the left hip, taking the arms out to the side, a big breath in, find the warrior two. And as you exhale, we're going to bend this right elbow, take it to the thigh, tuck your tailbone slightly underneath and turning the palm of your left arm up to the sky. Take a big breath in and as you exhale, making a lovely semicircle up and over in a diagonal line. Now keep this right buttock underneath you here and keep opening through the left side of your body. Turning your gaze to look up or you can look straight ahead here. Keep a lot of energy on the little toe side of your back foot. Breathe. That should already be two breaths. We take one more breath here. Feel the knees spreading apart. Feel the hips opening. Good. Inhaling. Let's float up to the center and prepare to change sides. So turning the right foot in. Lift the left heel, rotate the left leg out, lining up heel with instep. Big breath in. As you exhale, begin to descend deeply into this left thigh. Keep your tailbone slightly underneath, pull up through your pelvic floor. Finding the warrior two as you exhale, bending through your left elbow, take it to your thigh, power the back leg, and turn the palm of your right hand. Take a breath in. As you exhale, push down with your back heel as you sweep the arm up and over to form that diagonal line. Think of rolling your chest up towards the ceiling here, tucking underneath with the left buttock, opening the right hip, chest and shoulder. Breathing into your Hashvokanasana. One more breath. Softening with each exhalation. 
Good, let's inhale, push the floor away, coming up to the center. And take the hands on the hips in preparation for forward fold. Prasivita Padatanasana A. Turn your toes forward for me and roll the shoulders back. Now, when any forward fold movements are involved, it's a good idea if you tighten your hamstrings or lower back to keep your knees soft. Okay, Maria will be demonstrating. Let's take a breath in, lift the chest up towards the sky, point the elbows back, lift up for your pelvic floor. And with an exhalation, you hinge forward from the hips, lengthening forward with a nice long spine. Bring the hands down to the floor, shoulder distance apart, in line with your toes. Inhaling, push the floor away as you lengthen your chin and your chest forward. So we want to create some space through the front of the body. And as you exhale, bend the elbows and bring the top of the head down to the earth. Now invite the weight more towards the balls of your feet as opposed to the heels of the feet. And think of putting up for your inner thighs and your leg muscles. So get in a good stretch for your legs. Keep your core center engaged and widen across the hips and the buttocks. Inflate in the back with healing breath as you inhale. And each exhalation, you go a little deeper into the posture. Good. We'll do one more breath here. Lovely. Now push down with the floor. Lift your chin and your chest forward, inhaling. Exhale, soften the knees, place the hands on the hips. Inhale, flat back brings you all the way up. Exhale, release your hands. Good. Relax your knees and let's come forward. Back into Tadasana in preparation for some balances. You may want to give your legs a little shake here. First of the balances, we push down with our left heel. We pop the right knee. Looking forward and along the floor here, steadying your mind. As you inhale, raising the right knee, take your hands. Place them interlace just below your right knee. Now, uni union of opposites in action here. We push down with the left heel as we extend up through the crown of the head, keeping the belly lifted and drawing the knee up towards the chest. Good, well done. Let's release, shake out that leg. Moving on to the other side. Popping the knee, inhaling, drawing the knee up, interlace your hands just below the knee. Push down with your right heel, draw your belly in and relax the shoulders. Okay, so feel that right heel pushing down into the floor, feel the crown of the head floating to the sky. Eyes are soft and steady, steady mind, steady posture, breathe. Excellent, exhale and release. Give the legs a nice little shake. And we're moving now to a stretch for the quadriceps, the muscles that run along the fronts of your thighs. So, pushing down with your left heel, pop your right knee once again. As you inhale, bring your right knee up. Take your right hand around your knee, left hand to your hip. Take a breath in for me, and as you exhale, slide your hand down the front of the shin, bringing your knees together, drawing your belly in. If you're finding the balance is difficult here, what you can do is do this against a wall. Or think about pressing the left hand away. Keep the knees together, belly lifted, and breathing the heel towards the glutes. Just feel a lovely stretch through the front of that right thigh. Excellent. Exhale and release. Give that leg a little shake. We'll practice on the other side. So feet together in your mountain position, nice and lifted. Pushing down with your right heel, pop your left knee. Draw the left knee up, taking your hand around. Right hand on the hip, push down with that right heel, lengthen through the crown of the head, draw your belly in. Keep your eyes softly gazing forward and along the earth. You slide the left hand down the shin, drawing the knees together, keeping your belly in. Bring in that left heel towards your glute. Remember, if you're struggling with your balance, just take your arm out to the side. Or stand against a wall. So lift up through the fronts of the hips, lift up through the belly. Breathing deep. Excellent, well done team. Let's release the leg and give both legs a little shake. Well done. Roll the shoulders back. And we'll take a breath in. Sweep the arms up. Draw in the energy up. Palms meet. And as you exhale, you're going to bend the elbows and bring your hands back into your prayer position at your heart. You should be feeling nice and centered now, nice and balanced. Balanced on both sides of the body. Feeling stronger and more open. You've done really well, team. 
we're going to take a break now and when we come back we'll be moving down into the floor for some seated postures and into our final relaxation. See you after the break. Namaste and welcome back. For the next part of the class, we'll be seated, moving into some forward seated folds and some twists. Okay, if you'd like to come down, take your legs forward for me and lift the flesh away from your buttocks so you can really begin to feel the sit bones pressing down into the mat. The first position we're going to do is Jana Shavasana, a single leg stretch, which gives us a lovely stretch for the hamstring and the lower back. So let's bend our right knee, bring the right knee in towards the chest. Give it a good hug in and lengthen up from your lower back. You're then going to lift the right foot and take your left hand around the outside of the right foot. Turn the leg out slightly from the top of the leg and cradle the knee into the crook of the elbow. Keeping the spine lifted here, we're going to rock back and forth just a few times just to help free up that hip just a little more. Okay. So if you need a variation in this position, follow Maria for the next part. We're going to place the sole of the right foot to anywhere along the inside of our left leg. I think Maria is going to be using a block, particularly for those who find that knee quite high up because the hip's not so open. Push into the heel of the left foot, lift up through your spine and draw your shoulders back. Feel of lifting up from your pelvic floor here. Now with the breath in, we're going to inhale, take the right arm up to the sky. And as you exhale, folding forward from the hip, taking your right hand around your foot, your shin or ankle is absolutely fine. You can also relax this left knee slightly, lifting it up if you're very tight in the hamstrings. Carrying on from here, we take a breath in. As you exhale, let your left hand follow suit. Think of pulling back with your left hip and moving forward from your right sit bone without rounding your back. So you want to keep your chest nice and lifted here. And breathe. Keeping the dishti forward and along the foot. That should already be two breaths. We'll take one more breath. And exhaling, folding forward. Good. We're going to repeat on the other side. Inhaling, lifting up. Releasing this knee. Bring it up. And exhale, take it forward. Good, that felt good. Let's do the other side, bringing the body into balance. Let's bend the left knee, bring it up, hug around the knee, lift up from your pelvic floor, lengthen up through your spine. And keep it a lot, lot of energy flowing into this right leg here. Now with an exhalation, lifting up this left foot, take your right hand around, cradling the knee into the crook of the elbow and rocking back and forth. So remember, you're turning out the leg slightly from the top of the leg, okay, and trying to keep the lower part of your leg in line with your knee, so you don't hurt your knee in any way. Okay. Good. We're going to release this foot and place it into the sole. The sole of the foot anywhere along the inside of the right leg. Feel as though you are still lifting out from your sit bones here, team. It's very important that you're not collapsing through your lower back. Taking a breath in, we take the left arm up. We pull back with the right hip in the rib cage. As we exhale, we extend and lengthen, lengthen, lengthen forward, taking the hand down. Remember the hand can go to the shin or ankle if it can't find the foot. Take a breath in, lift your spine. And as you exhale, releasing your right hand, place that on top. Keeping the chest nice and lifted, shoulders relaxed. That should already be two breaths. We'll take one more deep breath here, lifting the chest. We inhale, exhaling and folding from the hip. Feeling that stretch through the hip, lower back, and the back of the right hamstring. Inhaling, lifting up and exhaling release. Well done. Take your hand around this left knee and draw it forward. Give it a nice little shake. Paschimottanasana, intense stretch to the west. And the spine represents the west in this position. So and we're going to turn to the side. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. Lifting up from the butt cheeks here, feeling the sit bones beneath you. Pushing down with the backs of the knees. Taking the arms up, inner ankles together, toes nice and flexed, lifting out from your lower back, extending. As you exhale, folding forward from the hips, take your hands around your feet, shins or ankles. Now once again, if you're very tight in your hamstrings, just relax your knees slightly. Okay, it's absolutely fine. 
Inhaling to lift, exhaling, softening forward from the hips. Try not to round your back here. So we're getting a lovely stretch for the hamstrings and the lower back region here. A couple more breaths. One more. Good. Inhaling, lifting to come up to the center. Exhaling, releasing the hands. Let's give the legs a nice little shake here before we move into a spinal twist. So we're going to bend our left knee, place the sole of the foot down, and place it across the right leg. Keep a lot of energy in your right foot here. Lift up through your lower back and push down with this left foot. Take in your right arm to the side, breath in. As you exhale, wrap the arm around the left knee. Take the left arm up to the sky. As you exhale, circle it around behind you towards the center back, down to the floor. Push down as you inhale, and as you exhale, begin to twist from your middle upper back, keeping the shoulders nice and even, and looking as far to your left peripheral vision as you can. So the right shoulder comes forward, left shoulder goes back. Breathe. Good. Inhaling, coming back to the center, and we'll change sides. So take the leg forward, bending your right knee, lifting up from your lower back, Flex in your left foot, get a nice length through the legs and the spine here. Slipping the right foot over the left, taking a breath in, both butt cheeks pushing down into the floor, wrapping the arm around, and taking the right arm up to the sky, inhaling lift, exhaling and twist. Hand goes down towards the center back, lifting on the inhale, and twisting from the mid back on the exhale, keeping the shoulders nice and even. Right shoulder moves back, left shoulder moves forward. Good. Lift. Coming back up to the center, exhale and release. Give your legs a nice little shake now and we're prepared to move into a final relaxation where we allow the body to absorb the benefits of the class. So bending at the knees, shifting slightly forward. Take your hands behind your thighs and use that to assist you as you carefully roll down piece by piece. Allow your legs to separate and give them a nice little shake, lengthen them forward. And allow your legs to be no wider than your hips, with your toes flopping open to the sides and the heels turning slightly inwards. And turn the palms of your hands so that they face the sky here. The arms are about a 45 degree angle away from your body, with the backs of the hands on the floor and the fingers softly curled. And feel the space between the armpits. And feel as though you're rolling your upper arm away from your shoulder. Allow your neck to feel long, your chin in line with your chest, and your eyes are softly closed. And we allow the body to surrender to the earth with each exhalation. Deepening the breath on the inhale. Allow your spine to relax. Extending the breath on the exhale. And feel your body sinking deeper and deeper into the earth with each exhale. Breathing away any last remnants of tension or tightness from the body. Take your mind into your feet and allow your feet to relax. Allow your ankles to relax. Allow your legs to relax. Allow your buttocks, hips and pelvic floor to relax. Allow your torso to relax. Allow your spine to relax. Allow your shoulders and your shoulder blades 
to relax. Allow your arms to relax. Allow your hands to relax. Allow your neck and your throat to relax. Allow your face to relax. Allow your mind to relax. Good. Now with your next inhalation, begin to gently awaken your fingers and your toes by wiggling the fingers and wiggling the toes, bringing the energy back into the body. And carefully allow your legs to close together and take your arms up and over your head for a full body stretch. Inhaling, stretch the fingers and the toes, lengthening. And exhale, relax. Gently bending one knee at a time, bringing the soles of the feet to the mat. And one knee at a time, bring it into the chest, hug the knees in and circle the knees just a couple of times. Just a massage and reawaken your lower back. Coming back to the centre, release your hands from your knees and gently roll over to the right side of the room and you're using your left hand to push down and find yourself gently coming into a comfortable cross-legged seated position. Lifting up from the sit bones, resting the arms alongside you and bringing your hands into prayer. Good. And that completes the class. You should be feeling nice and energised now nice and open. We've enjoyed our experience teaching this class to you and we look forward to seeing you again. Namaste.